headstones vandalized again for the second time in a year. Somebody targeted a cemetery dating back to the Revolutionary War. It's the Vreeland Family Cemetery near Carlton and Huron River Drive in Flat Rock. 7 Action News reporter Nia Harden is live with the disturbing images there, Nia. Yeah, they're pretty shaken up about all of this. They tell us that the Vreeland Cemetery holds those who found Flat Rock, actually, and so it means a lot to them here, and that's why they're trying to find those who are involved. Last night we were informed that there was more damage. Patty Sherman says she's emotional after Flat Rock's historical Vreeland Cemetery was destroyed. It shocks me that people have no respect anymore. Um, to me, it's very disrespectful to come to a cemetery and damage. Nearly 10 headstones were knocked down. Last spring, the same thing happened. They raised thousands to repair the damage and had just got them fixed. But you could see where they repaired. This was a repaired one, you can tell. It's really disheartening to the society because we did so much work to raise the money to fix what was broken, and now we have to do it again. The board is now looking into cameras and hopes someone will come forward. Now, we do know that they are looking into getting some better security, and that'll be the first thing that they really look into. They said maybe even getting a taller fence, of course, looking into adding those cameras. They also will have to raise money again to try and fix those headstones that have been damaged. Guys? Certainly a good idea, though, to get some, some surveillance out there so it won't happen again. Thank you so much, Naya, for that live report. All right, he is the man.